think that most girls you know don't believe in they're like well yeah i believe in myself but i i just don't want to struggle through that or they're like they don't have the willingness to go and further themselves and better themselves and their lives and their family and their education i'm anna navarro i'm jennifer barrios i'm vanessa moran I'm Laura Chavez. And we are the Orange County team! Orange County's population is about 3 million, with 34% making the Latino community. Costa Mesa's population is about 112,000, with 34% making the Latino community. Our average annual income is about 52,000. In Huntington Beach, the population is a little over 197,000 residents, with 20% of those residents making up our Latino community. Our average annual income for Huntington Beach is a little over $57,000. After conducting 40 surveys at Ocean View High School and 40 surveys at Estancia High School, we came to a realization that the biggest issue in Orange County currently are the students' educational goals, in particular the senior Latinas at both of these schools. When we asked them what their plans were after high school, about 46% of girls said that they were going to a community college. Well, um, I went to community college. The reason why I kind of focused myself on community college is because for me, I was struggling a lot like deciding what career and what path I wanted to take. Well, I didn't want to go into like a university when I myself didn't quite understand what I wanted to do and what I what I feel like I am. So I just think community college would like help me kind of find myself and find what I want to do. 90% of these girls said that cost was the biggest factor in deciding that they were going to go to community college. Unlike many of the other girls, Dara happened to be in the small pool of 8.1 girls who were going to community college because they were undecided. But unlike Dara, the other 90.9 .9 girls who took the survey had said that the only reason they were going to community college was because of the cost that they were going to have to pay if they were to go to a four-year university. One of the most important questions on our survey was, do you and your parents share the same goal about you going to college? And about 92% of girls said that they were on the same page with their parents. Uh, muchos estudiantes están escogiendo ir a, a colegios comunitarios porque no están informados que existen becas y pueden ellos agarrar FAFSA o diferentes uh, becas para asistir a una universidad. Mi hija y yo quisiéramos que ella asistiera a una universidad porque uh, en una universidad uh, tiene todas las clases que necesita para acabar sus estudios porque en los colegios comunitarios uh, este, están muy llenos y aunque es un poco más económico pero se tarda más en graduarse y es más tiempo. that you think it should be in Bell or something during one of the classes that lets the students know how, how to fill out a FAFSA form, these are the scholarships. If whatever we're doing, we're not doing enough of it. Yes, okay. because I, I think we okay. just need to put a bit of emphasis on this, that $2.9 billion that can be used wow. for, it, they are unused, wow. they're not used, and that's something that we need to utilize our resources to actually Absolutely. use this 2.9 billion. Right. But for some people, it's really a problem. There's not enough money. They're, maybe they just have one parent working at the house. Maybe both of their parents are working and struggling to, you know, raise their kids. Some families have more than two kids. So I think that's also like, you know, maybe a problem like, oh, well, we can send either you to college or your little brother or your older sister. So it's kind of like sometimes it's a decision that the parents have to make is like, who do we send to college? With all of this being said, the Orange County team highly encourages everybody to really utilize the resources and be able to be aware that there are financial aid um, workshops out there that can really help all the students get the financial aid that they need, whether it be through grants, scholarships, um, potentially any loans, and just really not being able to um, 
you know, being able to not limit ourselves to only community college, but instead pursue higher education straight out of high school. For the Pope program, I've learned how to appropriately um, represent the Latina community, um, whether it be politically and talking to senators or um, throughout my community and how we can represent each other as a group. And I've also learned, um, you know, how, how impactful it really is to be surrounded by a group of people who really um, want the same goals as you, right? And so um, the whole program has really helped me realize that it's always nice to allow people to help you go where you want to be. And it's also helped me realize that Latinas um, are very powerful and are capable of so much. So thank you, Hope, for making me the confident Latina that I am now.